to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. and wishing to address the school board that are not currently on the agenda. Nope. <laughs> you're, you're at the very end, don't oh. leave. Any changes in the agenda? I hope you brought snacks. <laughs> yes. I need to uh, scoot the adjournment down and add an executive session under 1-25-2. Conflict of interest disclosures. Yes. And then staff and rec and student recognition. Well, the hope was that we'd have more new teachers here tonight, but I do have one. And can you introduce your dad? Can you tell these guys who your dad is? What's his name? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll let we'll let we'll let you. I just was hoping that um, I could get some of them here, let them introduce themselves, kind of explain who they are and um, their path to get to Del Rapids and what they teach. So. Okay. You want me to talk? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So, my name is Billy Lesner, a fifth grade science teacher, social studies with language as well. I have Kate Trail for class and she's a great kid. Uh, I came here from Aberdeen Ron Colley. I taught there for six years, uh, fifth and fourth grade, uh, all subjects. Uh, I spent a year in New Hampshire in a school district helping out there while my wife was getting her master's and I taught a year at Enemy Swim Day School. That's my first year. Uh, Amanda Bunn, another teacher here, is also there as well. So, so we swap stories every now and then. We miss each other. Uh, from Webster originally. Uh, Graduated there in 2005, then went to Northern. And, yeah, and that's, that's about it. And this is Robert. He's my oldest of three. I got a two-year-old and a seven-week-old. So it's been a busy summer. <laughs> <laughs> I still have my sanity, so that's good. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so much, and thanks for coming tonight. I'm sure it's just another time away from home. So thanks for coming, buddy. Do you like Del Rapids? Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. He, he likes his new house, so. Good deal. Yeah. Uh, Margo, soon to be Buchelman, said she had wedding plans tonight. That's why she didn't mm. get to Saturday and Friday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like yeah. wedding plans. Yeah. yeah. Well, you are out of here. Thank you right, so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Want me to consent to agenda monthly bills. Pretty accurate. <laughs> pretty accurate, still happy. <laughs> okay, I'm 
one personnel report. You have an updated personnel report? Or do you want me to keep those bottom three for Haven on there? Just Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, I'm not sure if you have questions. There's a little bit of everything on there. I'm not sure if you have any questions on this or if there's anything you um, would like changed or added. Um, we don't have, right now, the state allows you to, you know, require um, documentation that proves residency when you register into a school, but we don't have an actual policy that states, um, states that. So really, we just need to, to get up to date with practice and state law. I took um, pretty much verbatim the Associated School Board's first part and then um, I took pieces from Tri-Valleys on the, the, just the examples. But. Certainly. Um, JDC is just the code for um, <laughs> school admissions. Okay, I'm like trying to think of yeah. the acronym. <laughs> yeah, it's actually just JDC. Okay. Doesn't even stand for anything. There's no other questions or any additions. We'll move on to superintendent report. I have a few things there. I gave you a handout just because I thought maybe. Sometimes I get going to class, and so if you have questions later, you can email me or um, We have a lot of things going on um, facility-wise. Um, I wrote a, the Homeland Security grant last, it was around um, Valentine's Day, and I just assumed I didn't get it. Um, our, our key code, our access system that locks the doors down and that gets us in, um, it's very old. The server is the software is so old that we have to use an old computer and um, it's just one of those where everything needs to be updated. Um, they kind of stripped the grant. I was a little bit more excited when I found out last week that I had gotten the grant, but they did strip some of the things out of it that I had asked for. Um, but they are paying for the new um, software upgrade, so that's good. Um, so we will probably have that done here this first quarter as soon as we can if they if they're able to do it well. What building is that for? This for, building. For the middle school. Middle school, high school, yep. And everything's in place, it's just the software is expensive and so this just pays for the new software. Um, you saw the biking glass um, expenditure, um, I believe it was around $5,000 for the ADA accessibility project. Um, we got a grant for part of that, a, a chunk of that, um, and really what we need to do now is we need to do the second set of doors, the interior doors. What we did was the, with that grant, we paid for the ex parts of the exterior doors, but which is great during the school day, but I just really feel unsettled. Even though we don't have to do the next set of doors, I just I don't like the thought of, well, we'll be good and ADA compliant and get you in the first set but you're kind of on your own getting into the it just doesn't make sense so I told Barb I'm already going to spend money that I didn't budget for but it's it's that same amount to do the interior doors maybe a little bit less so 
Um, those they they've already um, started getting the parts ordered. Hopefully before basketball season, both the exterior and the interior doors will will be up. And and neither one had to be done. It's just I think we we need to do it just just because. Um, the guaranteed energy savings project. There's been a lot of work done, or you know things that have transpired since our last meeting. Jay and I met with our project manager. We were able to meet him. He's out of Marshall, Minnesota. His name is Joe Hen. He will be in charge of, of the entire project. Um, so we've had our first meeting with him. And I did give you um, the summary of our first meeting where we talked a lot of logistics more than anything as far as, um, because there's gonna be so many different um, workers um, from different companies on site because we're doing electrical, plumbing, um, energy, different things that we needed to talk about what the, that will look like as far as visitor badges and access control, escorts, that sort of thing. Um, with any luck, we will get started here in the next 30 days and they didn't want to say for sure, but they would like to see the majority of the work done by calendar year end. So um, that would be wonderful. Um, their certificates were sold last week. Um, the total interest cost that they um, uh, thought was going to take place, we ended up being about $13,000 less. So Jerry did us good again on that. Um, other than that, we just are kind of waiting and seeing um, you know, who they're giving the work to. And, and then they will be in the buildings here within the month, we hope. We, um, one of our larger capital outlay facility expenditures for this budget season was to update our security cameras in the building. Um, right now, we just have the analog, um, and so we're upgrading to the IP. Um, we have, we've been working with three different companies. Um, it's flexible negotiating, so we've worked through the first round, and now we've asked people to revise and kind of get onto a little bit more similar platform, and so we're working through those. Um, again, hope to have those done here in the, in the fall or early winter. Um, we know we have rooms in the high school that um, need to be repurposed. Um, I have been holding off one because I wanted Mr. Bunkers to kind of get a feel for what he had and what he wanted, and two, um, I think that um, everything from our dual credit to with the graduation requirement changes of a little bit more flexibility and independent learning. Um, we don't necessarily know what we how we want to repurpose some of those rooms, so I didn't want to jump too soon. Um, but know that at our October goal setting meeting, um, one of the things that we'll really be hammering out uh, with this group is what do we as a board want to see? What are what are you know if we take say funding and facility aside, what are we missing? What do you want to see? What do we want to be known for? We've done that with the teacher leadership group, but we also um, need to make it on more of an administrative school board level. So know that UNESCO was willing to bring in, again, you know, some people to, to work with Drew and us on some architectural type plans in case um, that's something we want to move forward with. Um, we know we'll have a little bit more flex flexibility finance-wise when those um, when the old elementary school comes off next summer, so I just kind of want to be ready and know what, what we're looking at. Um, you've probably seen or gotten a notice our connections, our big um, fall kickoff is coming up. That is Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Um, it's been kind of one of those goofy things where um, we thought there was a little bit more communication on some ends than there was, but um, it's this gal that's coming in, her name is Haley Steele. Um, she she grew up in the Chester Madison area. She is she tours she she goes on on tour in Nashville and all over um, the kids. When we say you know she's done shows with Christina Ballerini, they're like okay, you know they're pretty excited and um, she's she's just awesome and she brings a great message. She um, like um, unfortunately other talented, beautiful, you know, kids growing up in a small town in South Dakota, and everything wasn't always rosy for her. And so she teaches a big message of treating others with kindness and believing in your dreams and, and working hard at them. Her parents were teachers. Um, I actually student taught with one of them. That was my student teacher in special ed over in Chester, so kind of a neat connection. But 
Connections is paying for a meal at 6 o'clock on Wednesday night and then the concerts at 6.30. Um, we have a couple of the youth groups coming um, over. They're just bringing the Lutheran Church. You guys probably saw that. They're switching and they're sending everybody there now too. We certainly weren't ever trying to compete with anything on Wednesday night. We did the last big Connections kickoff on a Wednesday and we brought everybody together and it was just really cool. It was, it was really cool and so we're hoping to have as good a turnout. Um, the weather looks awesome for blankets and lawn chairs, and um, we, it's hard to predict how many people we're going to serve food-wise, but um, it's kind of neat when, the, when the, some of the football players from most schools, you know, walk over and they're, they're eating together. It's just kind of a neat thing. So that is on Wednesday night. Project Stand Up will be rolled out here in the next month or two. If you remember, um, those of you who were at Associated School Boards, you saw it. I was... Um, Jeff was with me, I guess, and Jody, were you too in, at the sheriff's office when they were just starting to talk about it? Um, and this is an anonymous type tip line for our students um, if they have questions about if there's any concerns with safety, security, or even if maybe a peer they're worried about self harm. Um, and so it'll be, they have the op option to do it anonymously through a text. Um, line and then it will come to uh, myself and any administrator that we choose to have on there along with the sheriff's office. So um, we will not roll it out until we're 100% confident we know exactly how the behind the scenes look and work and and but we're, we're very close and we have materials coming to share with the kids so that Mr. Bunkers and Mr. Rusick can roll it out pretty seamlessly. Summer on that, I had actually um, sat in on the session too at the oh. conference and so what they had also said is that um, like you had touched on something that they thought that would be very beneficial to push is like suicidal mental illness which you touched on so it isn't just school safety like it was originally intended and then they also push that it's not just for kids but also adults and community members as well can send in the anonymous tips so figuring out how to roll that out to parents too yeah, yeah and the community in general I kind, of, I kind of had wrote down a few things like the TNC's message board, the Wise Owls, our social media, put it on the mm -hmm. website. There would just be different ways of that. So. Yeah, great. So I can help if you need help with that. Yes, I will. Thank you. And then the last thing, um, with our website, um, it's getting there. Um, you've, um, you know, we, we probably, we, we know we went to the new website before it was ready. We put out lots of warnings kind of it you know bear with us i see harrisburg has it on theirs right now too we're we're transitioning but uh um, it'll get there and stacy gleason is the new website manager and i tell you what she has a an eye for design and and the web piece so it's gonna get good it really is if people bear with us um the thing that will be rolled out here in the next few weeks is an app um that will have those quick hitter things um quick announcements, um, be able to look up um, different contact information on your kids' school, um, announcements, things like that, lunch menu. So people will be able to download the app that goes along with it. And we are going to make the high school Facebook page a district-wide Facebook page. So a few communication things changing. It's just <coughs> not very... Not a very social media kind of person, so I, luckily we have Stacy on to kind of help and guide the principals and myself on what we're missing. So that is what I have. Right. Thank you. Um, committee reports and our board comments. Okay. Our Next regular meeting, October 8th at 7 p.m. And then we're going to have time for a goal setting meeting. Yeah, it's up to you. We've done it two ways before. Well, we've actually done it three ways. We've done it on a completely separate night from anything. We've done it um, like from 5.30 to 7 or 5 to 7 on a night before board meeting and brought in supper. We've done it during the day. Um, I never know what's, you guys are as diverse a group for times as it gets, so. 
Have we done it in November? No, but November <laughs> would be fine. Um, November would not be the worst thing because all of, of some of our data that we need from the state is coming out pretty late this year, and so we don't have it yet. And so, and that would give us a little bit more time for some new benchmark survey data. So I would be fine with November if you guys are. That makes life easier for you. Dates in November you're looking. At? <laughs> I don't have any in October either, but. Uh, just for Troy and myself, it might be better to have it, have it in November versus October. But I don't. I mean, before the school board meeting seems to work fine. I mean, the biggest thing is how much time do we need and how early can people come. Um, the board meeting right now is set for Veterans Day. Kind of be looking at October eighth or November twelfth. October eighth is also a holiday. It is also a holiday. Yeah. Work great for me. Yeah. But I'll take work. it in and we've got another board meeting that if something comes up but that way everybody can put it on their calendar and have a yep. couple of months to plan it. So we would think like 5 p.m.? Okay. Yeah and then I'll just bring in pizza from 